What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we, um, we found out Princess... I mean, Tetra is a princess! Yeah! <laughs> in this episode, we're actually back to Dragon Roost Island here. Uh, Dragon Roost Island. Pff, that's adorable. Can I explain how to use a tingle bottle? The birds, peak rock, and sub What? Sidutra. Interesting name, very interesting name. Um, let's find out what this mailbox wants. Good morning! Letters for Link, we have one letter! Here is your letter! How have we been, big brother? I'm here on the pirate ship writing you this letter. Isn't that neat? At first I was really scared, but they're all nice. For pirates, I mean. Mr. Gonzo's a really big guy, and he has ears on his armpits for some reason. I, I don't know. But ever since Miss Tetra left, he's been crying like a big baby. It's kind of funny, but sort of sad, too. Nudge is a little strange, but nice, too. As for Senza, his beard makes him look pretty mean. But, he's, uh, but he tells really cool stories when he gets in the right mood. Um, I'm guessing Sendra's the, the like brown kind of guy. The one I said is the normal-looking pirate. I don't know. Is Nudge the nerdy guy? I think Nudge might be the nerdy guy with the swirly glasses and the crack lens. Zuko's kind of weird. Oh, man. Uh, Zuko? Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know who Zuko is. I thought maybe he was, um, I thought maybe he was the guy that, that has a spyglass and is looking out to the ocean. Maybe I'll put the pictures up as, like, I say their names or something. That sounds like a good idea. Do that, Chris. And Mako's pretty quiet. But, I mean, Mako must be the telescope guy because he is pretty quiet. Mako immediately gets mad whenever I try to take his glasses. Oh! Okay, so Mako must be the nerd guy then. So I do that a lot. Hehe. <laughs> As usual, Nico is found fooling around. Is always fooling around. He won't take anything serious. Actually, he seems sad not to have you around anymore. Are you guys good friends? I hope I helped them out with all their chores, and they actually paid me a little bit for it. So I'm sending you the money. Please use it, big brother. I'll loan you my telescope for a little longer, but you have to return it to me eventually, okay? I'm doing fine here, so don't worry. Uh, I'll take care of myself. So you better be sure to take care of yourself. Good luck, Errol. And um. You got a red ruby at 20 rubies. What a pleasant surprise. That's the last time you hear of Errol in this game, you guys. I'm pretty sure. Unfortunately, she never gets dropped off at, uh, uh, blah, 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 at freaking your island, outside island. That's what it's called. Uh, it, it, I mean, she does, I guess, at the end of the game, but she never does, so you can never interact with her. She's a fine thing, to be sure, but it's not until I get to back to town again that I can really relax. You know what I mean? When I see the area around this fine looking gate over here, well, that's when I really start feeling good. Yeah, the gate in particular just says, A long last, you're home, boy! I suppose that's the feeling I, I'm talking about. Uh, that coming home feeling. Yeah, that's true. I can understand that. Actually, I always feel at ease when I get the windfall on, too. It always makes me happy when I get back here. Alright, let's find out what this guy's deal is. You look really familiar, guy. Hmm. Who might this, might you be? Why do I have a strange feeling we've met you before? Ah, it's you. The little boy who promises big promises and fails to deliver on them. Hmm. <laughs> so I couldn't say my daughter. Fortunately, not everyone in this world fails to deliver. So it turns out my dear Milo was saved by a group of kind pirates. The pirates had a leader. Tetra, I believe. She said her name was. I was most grateful. She did demand a rather hefty reward, though. Thanks to them, my fortune has vanished. We've hit rock bottom. But my little Mila is still alive and home safe where she belongs. So I can't complain. A daughter is more important than money. So, this is the rich guy that made us pay for all his pots we broke. And he's now poor. He saved his daughter. Isn't that adorable? I mean, he is pretty pissed at me, even though I did save your daughter, asshole. But the part just delivered. But my question is, he met Tetra, and she was the one who made the demand of money, but when the heck did this happen? I mean, right after they put the, the kids on the boat, like, Tetra came back to save me from Ganon. So when the balls could this have happened? Because as soon as like she came back to see me from Ganon, um, we went back down to Hyrule, and she's down there now in hiding. So what the- I don't understand that at all. How is that possible? I don't freaking know. Uh, anyways, let's head into town. It's quite a bit for us to do now. Oh, I don't even know where to begin. Jeez, well first off, let's actually go down here. Ooh, you look familiar too. Hey, you! Come on, use your head. You can't just stand there like that. You're in my way. Can't you move? Oops, th that won't do. I won't do it all. I'm running back to my old habits. I'm terribly sorry. Really, I am. Um, welcome to you. Welcome to you, sir. So wait till the windfalls outdoor shop. Chock full of fun and happy products. Brief 
Are you talking about this? This girl is actually the girl with the crystals in her hair that we saw in prison with my sister. And she's a poor beggar girl trying to work with this. I don't understand how you could quickly like have your dress that you're wearing just lose all its... Like, where did it go? Maybe she sold it off as well. Or maybe, uh, I guess the dad did. Or maybe she did sell it off. No, no, no. If you wish to speak to me, please, I must assist. You're the reception counter. Rules are rules. Oh, okay. Do you not remember me? I give you 80 rupees to start your business? Yes, yes, yes. You're the young master who purchased my sale at last. With those funds, I've been able to open up my stall. But I hate to say this, my poor little stall is not an instant success. In fact, it's rather deserted, I'm afraid to say. I think this tragic turn of events is due to the fact that I don't have a wide enough lineup of products. For, if I am to be fully honest, I only have one product. Put it another way, I think my stall would do much better if I could stock rare items that people uh, can't get in town. Yes, yes, that is what I need. Uh, then I would be, make plenty of money. Not just plenty of money, it would be like tr taking candy from rich babies. No, no, not even that. By running a prosperous business, I could play my part to help this town develop and become a happy place. Yes, yes, that's a proper pros perspective. But dear me, if only I had a young partner to help me out. A real go-getter, nudge, nudge. Yes, yes, master. Now that I take, now that I take a longer look at you, I see that you have a fine delivery bag. Do you not? Dear me, it is a bag fit for a hero of delivery. Ha 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 ha! Have a smaller crest that requires you to use that bag. A request? Oh dear me, I knew it, young master. I knew you would understand my plight. It is a rather long-winded explanation, but let me take the time to hear. But take the time to hear me out. My stall is kind of a general store that makes its money by obtaining rare products at inexpensive prices and sell, selling them. With a reasonable markup, of course. However, because I have so few products to sell, the shop remains rather deserted. I will sell anything. I'm a master of sale. I just need to get some new products. Could you not seek out traveling merchants and negotiate supply contracts with them for me? No, no, no. Do not look so frightened. I say contracts, but it's just a word. You don't have anything. Or you don't have to do anything very difficult. All I need is for you to trade one of my products for a new product that the merchant has in stock. You see, among merchants, a trade is proof of contract. And that is to say, that it is a merchant's oath. Yes, that is what we call it. Yes, yes. Merchants that have sworn a merchant's oath will afterwards send me their products to me. As is all the way the things is the way the things work. So as you succeed in my trading products, my product lineup will increase. Do you understand everything I've told you? I know it sounds really, really confusing, but it really is pretty simple. Yes, yes, young master. Uh, you are now my new salesman. No, no, scratch that. Starting today, you and I are partners. Dear me, yes. Look at that evil smile on his face. He always plotting against me. What an asshole. <laughs> uh, I give to you my proof of contract. In other words, this is my merchant's oath. Take it with you, my young partner. We got the town flower. This flower hails from the town of bright smiles. If you find a place to set it, Set this rather small flower to your delivery bag and the item screen and blah blah blah. First you need to do is take this to another traveling merchant and trade it for something. To build the foundation of the merchant's oath. As soon as you trade the merchant uh, you trade with will send those products to my shop. Thereby increasing my product line which will make me quite happy. With your, uh, well, your new trading partners, the traveling merchants, are waiting for you somewhere out there in the Great Sea. My dear, my expectations are high. Okay, so now this three of these trading partners and we're not gonna be doing this this episode but I do want to do this as kind of like a bonus episode one of them is on mother and child island which we can warp to using the Ballad of Gales but unfortunately the merchant is not on the inside so we're seriously gonna have to like warp to Tingle Island and uh, sail to it every time there's one on uh, Great Fish Isle and I don't remember the last one is off the top of my head might be Bomb Island maybe Question mark? Maybe not. I don't. I feel like that's wrong. Oh, let's say Windfall Island. That's clearly not. What the balls? That's weird. Should it not be? Why is this? I don't understand why this map is so glitchy for me lately. Definitely not Fire Mountain. I can tell you that much. Um. Yeah. So this flyer he gave me, you can trade it, but that's where these also come in handy. So you can also go bam. <laughs> Remember this, uh, from the pedestal and place it in the delivery bag? Hell yeah! Put it in your delivery bag. So, I thought this was not originally in the game, but I guess these pedestals just didn't appear at first for whatever reason. I don't freaking understand why. It's really weird. Alright. Holy crap, there's so many things I want to do. I don't even know where to start. Um, well, let's go down here. Actually, I probably shouldn't go inside here. 
I don't think there's gonna be anything in here actually. We probably should have went through the second floor. Hello? Yeah, there's nothing here. This is stupidly pointless. Can I read this? Just say. A thrilling night of money and desire. Uh, this way to the auction house floor. Or auction house. Floor one, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Auction house? That sounds interesting. No, it's Windfall Island's auction house tonight. Bidding starts at dusk. All comers welcome. Wait, did it say newcomers or all comers? I don't freaking know. I thought it said all comers, but that sounds weird. That's just some weird phrase people use. Oh, 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 I remember. The whole reason I actually came down here was going here. Alrighty then. Let's go inside here. It's the dang shop. Yay, we haven't been here forever. Hello, hello, and hello again. This is the Chew Jelly Juice Shop. We only sell 100% natural Chew Jelly. Yeah. Yeah, we've already talked to you. Red Potion. Um. Well, he does only sell for 20 rupees, and I could use something in my bottle here. Uh, nope. Don't want that, actually. Uh, but. Let's see what happens here. If we show him these items. First off. We show him the red chew jelly. I don't know if it happens if I show him this. Guess is that could it possibly be? Did you by chance bring me chew jelly? It's quite clever of you to be bringing me such quality ingredients to me. I'll take five of them if you could spare them. Uh, and thanks to you, I'll give you one free serving. That's not a bad deal, no sir. You got a red potion. Cool. So I guess every five for every five glops of chew jelly you bring me, I'll give you one free potion. Come back after you collect more of those wonderful gooey potion making stuff. Okay, so we only have a red potion available right now, right? So let's try to give him green chew jelly and see what he says. Yes, is that gonna possibly be? Did you by chance bring me chew jelly? Hmm. Oh, ho, ho. ha. This is an extremely rare color of chew jelly. Perhaps it indicates a new breed. What fascinating jelly development. <laughs> jelly development. I've never seen one of this particular hue on Pauper. What? I've never seen one of these particular hue on Pauper Island. A small toll famous for its robust chew population. But I digress. And the game is afoot, for when it comes to making potions, I am a true artist. I've been shown something rare. Inspiration bubbles up from within me. Gross. Oh, wait for it. Here it comes. Oh! That's it! That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it! That's the spark I was looking for! The sunburst of inspiration! Eureka! I'm gonna make this chew jelly to create a brand new, unheard of kind of potion. It's been ten years since I've begun my now legendary studies of chew jelly. I must begin mixing this new potion before my new inspiration in years vanishes. Oh, <gasps> whoa! He has the Heisenberg bee on his back. Wow! I never no, knew that was a thing. Oh my god! I'm sure this is gonna end well. He is very clearly not touching that flask or that um, test tube. Yeah, I guess that'd be a test. Oh god! Oh, the glasses flew off. You were probably gonna die, sir. It's ready at last, my new chew jelly concoction. It's piping hot, and I want you to have this first batch, my fellow Jew connoisseur. Hmm, what's this? No! Oh, what a tra travesty. You don't have an empty bottle, I can't give you any potion. <laughs> so, I gave him 15, I believe, right? Yeah, I gave him 15 chew jelly, and now he has green potions available. Not that we're ever gonna buy it. Green potions, um, they, they, they give you back magic. Um, that's almost never an issue. If hero mode was a thing where they never gave you back magic and you needed to, like, use potions and stuff, that might have been a decent thing to buy, but seriously, there's no point. It's, and also, it's, why is it just, it just looks like a clear bottle. Both of these don't look, like, green or red. Whatever. About to leave. Screw this place, we're going home. Ugh. Well, it's already almost been 50 minutes, so we've, like, accomplished nothing in this episode. <laughs> hmm... Where should we go next? Let's actually try to make some progress here. Um, oh, there's so many things that like we could start, but we can't really complete. Let's go talk to Len. Well, actually, we've already talked to Lenzo, haven't we? However, I believe there's a way we can kind of sneak into his house here. Why we might we want to do that? Welp, there's reasons. For reasons. And yeah, this is another thing we ought to do, but I don't really feel like doing it yet. <laughs> I gotta beat I gotta beat the battleship game in under 20 hits. We got the um the other second treasure chart from this place. This is weird. I don't really like how they put two treasure charts there. I like how they gave you like a heart piece or whatever. <laughs> or whatever. Ooh, maybe we can't do this yet, actually. Oh, I don't wanna fall down here. Dang it. I don't think we can do this yet. Oops. Let's try. 
Oh. Try changing in one direction here and see what happens. Uh, ooh, actually, that was already kind of a good direction now, wasn't it? Okay, let's cancel that. This might fail. We might need... Dang it. We might need to do something else. And... Oh, 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 hey! We did it! Yay! So, we made it up into Lenzo's secret room up here. I shouldn't see this coming. I thought for sure I was going to fail. <laughs> oh, you guys recognize this place? Well, if you don't, that's okay, because this, I did this plenty of episodes. Whoa, that's all our poopies. I'm actually carrying them all this time. Yay. Yay, rupees. Woo. Two treasure chests. Holy crap. You got a purple rupee. It's worth 50 rupees. That's great. Worth 50 rupees. Oh, my God. Let's get me this chest. See my chest. See my chest made of real gorilla vest. You got a treasure chest. Open this chart in the man, the man, the man. It's open right now. You know what? Screw it. Screw it with a blue it. Oh, freaking no. Oh, there it was. Nope. Ooh, oh, that's Mother and Child Island. I recognize that immediately. Is there anything else? Nope. All right. Uh, now let's sneak into this little passage. What is this? It's like, oh, this place looks so creepy to me. It looks like spongy and. I guess it's supposed to be like insulation. Maybe just stone. Maybe it's like some kind of weird limestone or something. It's weird. I don't understand. Pay attention to where we come out here in a second. Oh, we're still going around at the speed of sound. Okay, watch this. That's right. We are a picture. Just kidding. Oh. Oh, I didn't know we could just stand up there. Can we go back in there? No. That would be cool. Oh, no. I want to see what's up there. Oh, it looks like pictures of flowers on the left there. A windmill. On Windfall Island. Oh, what's the top one? A th Was that Hyrule Castle? Looks like there's two, like, castle... Or, towers there, but... The front there looks like the Windfall Island, um... Town Gate or something. Well, anyways... <gasps> what's this? Hello? Shh. Allow me to think. Oh, yes. I first started searching for pictographs... That recorded true beauty all oh, about 10 years ago. And I think I found true beauty. Ha <laughs> ha. How interesting. Huh? Who's there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing here? Are you trying to give me a heart attack? <laughs> Link looks down like, uh, sorry. This is awkward. Hmm, now I think on it. Just how did you even get in here? Why, I never even noticed you. Ha ha ha. What? I'll have you know. I've only come here to have him take... A pictograph of my exceptionally beautiful skin. I've been a huge fan of pictographs for a long time now, so don't go taking this the wrong way. Well then, speaking of pictographs... <laughs> Wait a minute. Can I get a better shot of this? Can I climb up on this? Of course I can. That'd just be too great, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Enjoy your blackmail, assholes! Alright. Alright, let's just leave. <laughs> so that picture will be used for blackmail later in the game. Well, not really. Kind of. I actually don't remember what exactly what we do with that picture, unfortunately. Uh, there's actually not as much to do on Winful Island as I once thought there was. So... So, anyway, you think the brick building at the top of the steps? Well, the gentleman who lives there has such class. Oh, I know, that mysterious pictographer Lenzo is so dreamy. Oh, he makes my heart go flutter. But do you think the rumors are true? Can he actually be devoted to someone special? Oh my god. He just seems so serious about his work to be involved with anybody. Lucky lady, who could she be? I wish someone could take a pictograph of them together so he could know if the rumors are true. Oh, that'd be to die for. What would it be to die for? <gasps> How'd she get back there? You got see her? She's right there. How did she beat us outside? Well, I guess I should have talked to them first, but you know what? Here you go. <laughs> oh! Oh my god, that says the pictographer Lenzo and that pictograph loving lady. I guess we're completely wrong about Lenzo having a gr What do you mean? How's a picture proof anything? Looks as though they're just old friends who who happen to share the same hobby. Thanks for setting a straight young man. We just have spreading idle gossip like that. Tell us the error of ways. No, thank you. We're gonna give you something nice. Stick out your hand. It's a boob! <laughs> you got a shirt! Oh my god, look at their faces! They're terrifying! 
Holy crap. <gasps> My naughty little boy found this somewhere. I'm sure you'll like it. My not what the fuck? This is getting more creepy. Suppose, uh, well, I suppose we're all wrong about rooms and London's girlfriend. Let's just, I thought this was, I thought they'd give me more to do. They're apparently not. Um, I, I guess we're gonna call an episode here. I mean, there is more stuff for us to do on Windfall Island here. But most of them we can only start, so I'm not gonna do too much. I'm gonna talk to you now. You see, young sir, I've been studying picto boxes since I was a wee little lad. My lifelong dream of creating a box with incredible pictography capabilities is a long last new fruition. Fr yeah. <laughs> but I grow old and have no real desire to leave this island. Young sir, I hasn't asked, but can you purchase. Can you perchance become my pictograph assistant? Sure, why not? I was going off the episode, but apparently not. Oh, oh, really? Really and truly? My heart leaps at your enthusiasm. But I feel I must tell you, the path to an assistant must follow is not a simple one. I demand that whoever, uh, wh whosoever takes on the role of my assistant be an individual who could take whatever command I may issue and promptly complete it without hesitation. Oh, God, this sounds like it's going to be like some kind of crazy, like, pedophilia picture act or some crap. Uh, it'll be quite a challenge, I assure you. Are you sure you wish to do this? Absolutely. Ah, you must share my love of the pictograph. What is your name, young sir? Link, is it? Very well, then. I shall issue three commands to you. On the day you complete all three tasks, you shall become my number one assistant, Link. With a lowercase L. <laughs> now then, for my first command. A love letter. Do you know what that is, young sir? It is a collection of words of love. Long, truly unspoken, put in a written form. Somewhere in this town, there is one who, despite constant rejection, never learns the cold lesson of unrequited passion, passion and continues to write letters of doomed love. I'm certain the object of sadly one-sided affection is in quite a contrary over the matter. I am of the mind that I must have a word with the unwanted suitor. However, I must have a physical evidence, and thus, first has to snap a pictograph of the individual in the act of sending unwanted letters. That sounds easy, does it not? Rightly so. If you hope to be my assistant, you must perform this task with ease. Interesting. Do we know anyone who has secret love affliction? Unrequited? I don't know. We actually don't. We haven't met them yet. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please feel free to like, subscribe already. I probably should have started the side quest in the next episode, to be fair. Oops. <laughs> the next one, we will do assistant stuff. Yay! Whee! Talk to you guys later. Bye bye! And with that, I complete my tasks.